Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. I'm sorry if you hear a fan. It gets hot. Last we left off, we fell. Nearly to our doom. But now, last we left off, we had found ourselves in the middle of a uh, rather impromptu, I think, space pirate base. And, um, one second, giving myself some more controller space. And, um, yeah, they've been pretty much taking this, uh, material called Phazon and using it to genetically manipulate, uh, local creatures of the planet. This is what we like to call No Bueno. Oh, hello. But, in our discovery of this, we also got super missiles, which is actually bland, boy no. Where do you go? Control tower. Oh boy, I'm about to piss off some people. Wait, I'm not familiar with this. Could I have jumped that? I feel like I could have jumped that now. Oh well. That's a situation for Samus of after we deal with a controller tower to deal with. God, they do so much damage. Oh goody, my favorite ones. Alright, little kamikaze. Do I want to scan these guys? That's why I've already scanned, scanned them. Yeah, I totally did. I gotta hurt. Uh, annoyingly, they take a charge and two missiles to deal with. So, you know, good times. Hmm. Well, okay, that's what this super missile looked like. Sadly, we couldn't use it to actually blow those up. Which is saddening, because I wanted to feel badass. I hear that. Sounds like it's up there. At the least, very close to right here. Wait, is this going to be a situation? No. I was going to say maybe it's a situation where it's in the other room, but... I don't know if that's actually a thing. Or do I? Oh, you son of a bitch. Unless... Unless there's a way to jump out and into that side. This is me theory crafting. Um, no? I 
I was good defenses against the goddamns. Actually, maybe I gotta jump on to that next. Oh, man. Games like this drive me nuts because I hear the sound. So I instantly want it. All right, fine, I'll deal with it later. If I could be so lucky, I'd be able to save before I get to uh, whatever that shenaniganry is. I legit don't remember what that shenaniganry is. Besides more space pirates. Man, that's gonna absolutely destroy my editing. Why must you tease me so? Oh no. Stage six. Oh no. Goddamn scientists can't do their freaking job. Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator. The dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Metroid is either morph ball form mode and mood and lay a bomb. Oh yeah, I don't have instant regrets playing games that involve Metroids, I don't know what you're talking about. Legit, Metroids are pretty freaking terrifying. Let's be honest here. Y'all remember Mother Brain? Didn't live very long after Metroid got to her. Space pirates. Stop acting like gods. Oh, hey. Thank you. I, I. Rude. Fine, it's only some Metroids, no problem whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever. Those things just don't die. Yep. Now I'm curious as to all the lore that's around here. Hello. That was an interesting placement of a thing I couldn't get to. Those elevators can't be safe. I saw it. That is what I have to do. It's kinda... 
Oh god damn it, this is like the worst. As I was about to say, this it's just about the worst angle you could have for dealing with rails. Ah I want the thing. Uh, did I just take fall damage? I made it sound as though I would taken damage. I'm assuming it's fall damage. Okay. If I get right here. Cool. Diagonals suck. I could possibly slowly move. But I don't trust this controller as far as I could throw it. Whew. Anyways. Yep. Lower time. Metroid does. Day section continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadrupartic nucleus, but the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid exa extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter, as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. It swallows your soul. Quarantine specimen exhibits highly aggressive behavior. Its body structure, composed of phazon ore, oh no, I think I know what's coming next, uh, appears nearly invulnerable. This has rendered our efforts to train and discipline subject useless. These quarantine caves have been secured. Specimen remains in quarantine area. All experiments have been sp suspended pending pacification of area. Project Titan is suspended indefinitely. Security breaches resulting in massive casualties have occurred. Access is strictly prohibited until further notice. Studies of Metroid biology continue, th though with limited progress, it seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids of our means for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we could have no problem no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could have the could harvest the energy they'd consume, we could have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Uh, contaminated beyond accessible thingy. This is just going to go down to my demise, ain't it? Part of me wants to run back and, uh... Save. Another part of me wants to simply... Hold off until I actually, you know... Get a bunch of lore. Because I like lore. Who likes lore? I like lore. Although most of the stuff that they say is sciencey mumbo-jumbo, so... The event of... Metroid attack, repel creatures with missiles set to maximum concussion. All guards must use ice containment gear when transporting Metroids. This includes sed sedated sed specimens and those pronounced dead. As energy-based creatures, Metroids show immediate mass increases upon energy absorption. Lore. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. 
The code name for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that phazon and fusion could reproduce radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent m mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern. Concern? I read that weird. But refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental de degeneration. I kind of hate that alarm at this point. I just want to grab a couple of things while I'm feeling woefully inadequate to face off against something that might be called Project Titan or Project Helix. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. See? Fine. Nearly full heal. Um. Oh god. They got some rather annoying attributes, they do. Hello, sir. Pirates. Oh, hello. Ah, shit. Ah. Was hoping I wasn't going to take any damage there, but. Oh, woe is me. Alright. What were you playing with, Mr. Pirate? Thermal visor interfaces will be sent to quarantine area. These visors will be useful for any personnel involved with in transportation of the unstable test subject there. Central tank control circuit connection terminated. <gasps> Stuff. Stuff that I'll need, I bet. Stuff that I'll be like, I wonder if I'll need to use this for the next boss. And then the game will answer, yes, you will, because here's the next boss. Ugh, I see those Metroids just lingering in their things. That was on me. Paranoia, paranoia, everything is gonna freaking kill me. Now, is it making that sound because of the thing that's in the middle there? Or is there. Oh, yep. Damn it, don't you hate when you hear a thing, but you can't see a thing? Force wheel network activated around object. All three force wheels must be deactivated. Okay. I can do that. Inform command that thermal vision tests will begin soon. Abnormal heat traces are represented as red when looking through the thermal image spectrum. Yep, that's how... There's the other one. Now there's just one more? Yep. Oh, must be on one of the terminals up above. What terminals were there? Uh, legit, I kind of remember being so stupid with this part. I thought that's entirely new with my Let's Plays.
thermal vision acquired. Press down to activate it. Use thermal vision to search for cold and hot objects and hidden wave beam targets. I love that it does specify hidden wave beam targets. Oh god. Oh, it takes three missiles to take out those guys. Alright. And it is heat based, which is really neat. Now the only downside to this vision is you got that constant sound effect that's in there. Wah, wah, wee, 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 wee. Okay, knew that was going to happen, but yeah, I say I was stupid because when I initially had played this game, God knows how long ago, uh, one of the first things that it was all like, oh hey, a new thing down there just for me, I better go down there and get it, and I jumped right off the side. <laughs> I was like, do they turn it on? Okay, yeah. I like immediately turned it on. I was like, why did I turn this on? Besides it looking cool? Right. Because I can't see otherwise. I'm going to try using the super missile against one of these. Critical hit, it was super effective. Alright, really quick. What floor was that sound on? Unless the sound was actually just. Okay. Yeah. Can't see shit. Okay. Oh boy, they are gonna make me use this the entire way, aren't they? Ow. Um, what's actually hitting me here? Ah! Um? Oh. How'd you guys prepare that thing? Prepared it so fast. Oh, I don't want to stay in the room with Metroids. I'm so lucky I actually did not hit a single one of those Metroids. Did okay. Uh huh. Hate it here. Mostly because I can't see shit. I suppose this visor setting wouldn't be too terrible if it weren't for the fact that sometimes it is absolutely garbage. Like, if you're using it for dark vision, 
as it were. Then uh, you're pretty sure out of luck, because it's hard to see shit. And you also don't get your map. But no, as a kid I had jumped down off of the topmost platform to get to the bottom most so I can get the stuff. Can I just casually ignore you guys? Excellent. I have very little health right now and I'd rather hit that save point before I do anything else. Legit. Anything else. Don't like that sound. Running, 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 running. Whew. That said, I'm gonna go ahead and save and call an episode here. A bit shorter, but you know, last episode we were chock full of lore. And now we have X-ray visor. Uh, where to go next? I think there's gonna be a bunch of places that I need to go back through and just scan with the heat visor because I mean, now I gotta find a bunch of things. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.